Tuesday, y'all. Well, I got up this morning and I decided it was uh, time to handle the annual task and do the taxes, at least get them going. And I got all the way through the process only to be told I can't file yet because there are some pending laws, some pending tax laws that affect our situation I haven't quite been tweaked out yet. Hope they get that done before we have to legally file. I don't know what we'll do if we don't have that done. Anyway, I'm hoping it'll just be a couple of days. I'm... There's going to be a noticeably different tone in today's video. And I got, I've got a lot on my mind, guys, and I, I just need to say it. And you're not going to hear me do this very often. Oh, before I launch off into that, I need to say this. If you were tuned into our uh, Friday Night Live this past Friday night, I must spoke about something, uh, a big doozy. I stepped on my neighbor's toes. I said that I thought there was a pond over on the west side that might partially be on our property. That is absolutely not the case. That pond is not on our property. So I need to clear that up. I promised I would. There it is. I misspoke. That will not happen again. Not purposely. Anyway, back this past summer, I started uh, taking some online classes and tutorials and whatnot so that I would be sharp as a tack for this tax season. I don't trust our financial business with anybody else. I take care of it. I've got the brain power. I've got the gumption. I learn. I, I do it. And I've always done it well. Well, I thought I was prepared. Like I mentioned, there are a few laws that haven't been all the way hammered out yet that could affect our bottom line. That's fine. Here's the big one. Now, I saved every single receipt from the move, the moving expenses, buying the house here, every nail, every screw, every piece of drywall that went into this place, I kept. Everything we needed to get this place livable. Not, you know, not functioning, not cute, livable. Floors, ceiling, electric, yeah, plumbing, Anyway, I kept it all. There's a new law as of, I think it was July this year, unless you are an active duty service member, you cannot deduct any moving expenses, period. Capital gains taxes, yeah, those are alive and well. It's just taxed at a different rate now. So it was starting out that we were going to owe a bill of around $40,000. I'm happy to report that after a lot of consulting and a lot of diligence, we don't owe that much. And I would be perfectly fine with it if everything that we paid in taxes went to house our disabled veterans in decent housing. Not black mold infested, rat infested, vermin infested, nasty tenement housing, but good, solid, clean housing for every single disabled veteran in this country. I'd be okay funding that. I'm not okay paying for 2% of the population who is incredibly confused about if they're in an innie or an outie. I'm not okay with that. As an American, I'm a little bit angry. I'm a little bit put out. 
more so this tax season than any other preceding tax season. Folks, we need to vote. We need to vote loud and clear. And if you don't know what you're voting for, study up on it. Three solid resources. Not what Jim Bob down the street says. Not what Auntie May says over here. Not because back in the day, Grandpa voted this way. Folks, you need to know the issues. You need to study the issues. You need to follow the key players. See what they're about. See if they are for America or against America. And you need to vote. The next thing, hit your knees. Pray that we have a fair and honest election this year. Because I'm putting it out there right now, it would not surprise me one teeny tiny bit if there was some contrived crisis that popped up that prevented us from having an election this year, and then we're stuck with what we have. By design much? Sure, of course. You and I both know it. We're not keeping it in the dark. It's not in the dark anymore. It's right out in front of us. Guys, if that happens, get ready. I promise you, if you laugh at preppers, you're not going to be laughing at them after this year. Not if we don't do something to pull ourselves together and be good Americans. It's time we get back to that civilized, adult, well-behaved, well-mannered Americans. You know, the kind of people that were worth dying for because there are a lot of men and women who have died for our freedom and for us to be Americans. We need to earn it. There's my challenge to you today. Be an American who's worth it. And if it means you keep your mouth shut, then that's what you do. You keep your mouth shut. But by golly, you better be doing some studying. And in between your studying, you get your pantry full. I don't know what that looks like for you. Maybe you need to learn how to can. Maybe you need to learn how to make preserves. Maybe you need to learn how to hunt. Maybe you need to learn how to load, unload, clean a pew pew. Maybe you need to learn to fish. I don't know what it looks like for you. But I suggest you open your eyes and take a look around and see what it is you need to do. Because if, in the event, that we are each left to our own devices, man, you better know who your community is around you, who has what skill set, who can contribute what and how, Know where those people are. Know who you can count on. Know who's on your left. Know who's on your right. Keep your powder dry. Keep your head on a swivel. That's what we're walking into in 2024. I am the last person on the planet Earth who will ever wear an aluminum hat. A tinfoil cap. But I've been watching for years and I see what's coming. It doesn't take a rocket scientist, and believe you me, I am not one. But I know how to believe what I see with my own eyes. And I see the tapestry that's being woven for America right now, current, today. Trust and believe you do not want to wrap your baby in that. Most of you are bright enough to figure out what I'm saying, right? I do not condone violence of any kind. That is not who I am. But I'm telling you, you better learn some skills because things are about to get very dicey if we don't take this country back, okay? It's pretty messed up. When we have disabled soldiers, people who signed a blank check for you and me to be able to act a fool out in the streets, 
when they're living under bridges, when they don't have the care they need, when they don't have any care at all. And yet people who are not legally here are being given carte blanche at some of the best hotels in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something very wrong with that. There's also something very wrong with you, me, and everybody else having to pay up to 30% out of every paycheck to support those who come here to cause us harm. Now I know that there are some that are coming over here because they need a better life. They want a better life. They hunger to be Americans. They are few and far between. The people who are coming over here want to take this country and they want us dead. Look at all the fentanyl deaths. Where does fentanyl come from? Where does it come from? Look at all the gang violence. The cute little the cute little town that we left in Colorado, very affluent town. It's garbage now. Yep. They had an influx a huge influx, hundreds of thousands of illegals descend. Crimes are up by over 500%. Violent crimes are up over 300%. Rapes, thefts, sex trafficking, they've blown up exponentially. Billy Bob up the road didn't start that mess. Y'all need to start thinking, and you need to start looking, and you need to pay attention. Learn some skills, learn how to garden, learn how to hunt, learn how to fish, learn how to make biscuits, learn how to use up what you have, and then reuse it again. We're gonna need to learn these things, folks. Learn some skills. You guys, I'm going to get off of here. I need to go crawl up into the Word because my spirit is uneasy today. We're going to get through it. We need to get through it together. We're all here to walk each other home. Let's remember that. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Have a good rest of the day, but think about what I say. I'm not meaning to doomsday you. That's not who I am, but I'm a realist and I'm an observationist. I don't like what I see coming down the track. Y'all be blessed. Keep that attitude of gratitude. Keep looking up and saying thank you. Gratitude. I know I'm grateful. We're not paying in 40000 this year. No, we're not. Y'all, take care. We'll see you on the flip. Bye.